So you want to get one of, if not the best car in the game for free. A car that many players will never get or completely missed during their playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. This has been one of the most elusive cars in the game and very few people actually know this thing even exists and that you can get it completely for free in Act 1 in Cyberpunk 2077. This is the Mitsushian Coyote, but this is a special version of it that comes in red and you can get it completely for free. This car typically costs well over a hundred thousand eddies and if you make some specific choices in the game, you can actually get this for free. Now, I do want to say thank you to Ferdinand for showing us exactly how to get this. I've seen no information anywhere on the inter internet about this particular quest, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly why almost nobody has this car in the game. But without further ado, let's get into the process of how you acquire this amazing vehicle. Now, first, I do want to give you some information about the Mitsutani Shion. This is actually the second fastest car in the game. You can get a car for free called the Caliburn that it can do a little bit faster, but quite frankly, the handling on the Caliburn is nowhere near as good as this one, especially because the Mitsutani Shion is amazing for both on-road and off-road. With a top speed of 199 miles an hour, it makes it the second fastest car in the game, but it has the best handling of any car in the game by far. Obviously, me crashing through the desert doesn't do that much justice, but I have reviewed all the cars in other videos, and this one has always been one of my favorite vehicles in the game. I just realized I called the car the Mitsu Shion. It's actually called the Mitsutani Shion. I don't know why words are hard, but they are sometimes. Uh, but this car is something that you can get when you do specific actions throughout the Pan Am quest line. Now, when you first are introduced to Pan Am, you're going to want to continue just to go through Pan Am's quest line normal, uh, trying to make her as happy as possible and doing literally everything she wants, regardless of how dumb it is. Now, now, the reason that most people have not retrieved this car is because after Riders of the Storm, we're actually going to need to betray Pan Am. But for the time being, we do need to actually get through Riders of the Storm. So for the majority of Pan Am's questline, you're going to make sure to do everything that she wants. And then we're going to complete Riders of the Storm. And then we're going to unlock a quest called A Little Help from Friends. And that's where we need to do some very specific things to be able to unlock the car. Oh, nothing like a giant dust storm to ruin an infiltration to a camp. I, th I thought she was just going to sit in the car for a second. Okay, so we got to complete Riders of the Storm first. Oh, you know what's interesting? This dude with the blue mohawk here, excuse me, uh, actually has an iconic weapon on him. Uh, which is called the Problem Solver. It's a power submachine gun. Nice. Gotta upgrade that to Legendary. This is actually in the quest Riders of the Storm, and he was hanging out, like, literally right at the front gate here. Now, while you're doing this mission, there's also gonna be quite a few Legendaries. Like, right here inside of this is gonna be a DR5 Nova, which is a really amazing handgun. And that's, like, right as you enter into this little uh, garage area where you have to go find Saul. Now, when you get down here with Saul, make sure to loot the entire area because there's a bunch of different items and legendary items down here right next to him, like this electric club of doom. Okay, so I was actually mistaken. It's not the Queen of the Highway mission that we need to get to. It's actually at with a little help from my friends. What we need to do is when Pan Am gets to this point and starts talking about the heist... What we need to do instead of actually sit and listening, we are going to say we don't want to get Terrible involved. Idea, all this. Sorry. Can't, won't get involved. Suit yourself. But if you change your mind. Fuck, Mitch. You heard her. She said this is not her concern. You're darn right. She's so angry now, too. We've done like a lot of things to try and help her, too. Huh. And just dips out like that so quick that so now if we choose to do this option 
This is going to lock us out from the rest of Pan Am's quests. We'll no longer be able to do anything involving Pan Am. And uh, once Pan Am and the Nomads leave, we gotta wait for uh, we gotta wait to go talk to Saul. Basically, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna snitch on Pan Am. Basically, the ultimate Pan Am betrayal. Uh, so let's see here. You now to convince me. Pan Am's got no idea I'm here. Exactly. Pan Am's got no idea I'm here. Mm-hmm. So. What is it exactly you've come to tell me? Pan Am swayed Cassidy and the others. There we go. Pan Am swayed Cassidy, Carol, and the others to help her grab the basilisk. Fuck! She will never learn. How many more have to die before she hangs it up? Stop scheming. Pan Am's got good intent. Pan Am has no idea what she's doing. The Raffins will not let up, and she wants to bring Militech down on our asses. Doesn't look great, no. Why have you come to me with this? I thought you'd be on her side. The plan makes no sense. Ah, uh, we're well, we are worried about Pan Am too. But what we're gonna select is the plan makes Pan no Am's sense. Pan Am's plan schlock. Makes no sense. Suicidal, in fact. Got a handful of bodies. Wants to raid a Militech convoy bristling with security. Jesus, and she's picked an optimal time. Right when we cannot afford any weakening of the clan. I appreciate you bringing this to me. Pan Am is gonna be pissed. It'll pass. And down the line, she'll see and admit you're right. I'll be in touch. Alright, so now the interesting part. It says to wait for a message from Saul. We have to do something specific to actually make that message happen. So before we can get our message from Saul, what we're gonna need to do is actually just skip 24 hours here. And we're gonna get a very angry call oh, from Pan Am. <laughs> Instantly. Uh, glad you called. Do you seriously not know? Or did you pull some other shit thing besides ratting me out to Saul? How'd Saul react? How did Saul react? <laughs> he humiliated me in front of the clan. He made me look like an idiot. Cassidy, Mitch, Carol, we're all lepers. No one will talk to us. Are you pleased? Did it for your own good? Um, yeah. Did it for your own good, Pan Am. Oh, bullshit, V. You know what? I can't believe how much of a hypocrite you are. And here I thought, fuck, to be so stupid. <sighs> Maybe I can... No, you cannot. Not anything more. I never want to see you again. So yeah, needless to say, Pan Am is not happy with us. Also, I can't seem to get in third person anymore in cars. So eventually we should now get a message from Saul. Now, there are some instances where this might not pop up until you start heading to a certain location. So if it, this doesn't pop up for you, I'll show you how to get it to pop up. Uh, so what we're going to select is, I just hope she'll get over it soon. And we're gonna answer with that one. And he should respond. It'll take a, a while, but sooner or later she'll cool off and see reason. Don't worry about Pan Am. I think it's better if I keep my distance from her, you know. No, if only I could explain it to her. There we go. We were just trying to save her, you know? And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the car we are looking for. The most beautiful Nomad vehicle in the game. And all we gotta do is go pick it up and it's ours for free. Now you know darn well that if we go and try and talk to Pan Am again with a car gifted to us from Saul for betraying her, then um, things aren't going to go well for us. Now, um, if you don't get Saul to message you, he will message you like right when you go to this little road here at the Sunset Motel. So we just need to pick up our car, and it looks like it's going to be in this garage back here. Now, the main reason why nobody's really found this before is because nobody, quite frankly, probably wanted to betray Pan Am. I understand. Oh, like, <laughs> great. It's kind of glitched through the ground. Are you serious? So yeah, we got a 2060 Cheyenne Coyote. Horsepower 570, curb weight 3,551, and um, yeah, it's our baby now. Hopefully it doesn't explode. I gotta see if it actually goes faster than one of the other ones that you can get in the game, but it definitely looks really good. It looks so much better than the than the one you can buy, and I think like the one you can buy is like over a hundred thousand eddies. 
So if you're already planning on like romancing somebody else, then you can do this and get this car that a lot of people in the game aren't going to have. It's pretty sweet. Let's see what the top speed is. Top speed seems to be about 199 miles an hour, which is going to make it about the second fastest car in the game. But the thing is that there's another free car that you can get out in the Badlands, uh, which is the Caliburn. But this one handles so, so much better than the Caliburn. So it's slightly slower, but handles substantially better, making it, in my opinion, the best car in the game. I've absolutely loved these. Uh, basically, the Nomad vehicles in the game are my favorite. Uh, but this one in general is just so good. And if you've been using the Caliburn and you want another fast vehicle, you will probably never use the Caliburn again after using this one.